and then this will drop down. The mattress goes on top of it and you got yourself a full size, a full size bed now. And back into a couch. Hey, what's up guys? Today we are at Magic Reservoir in Idaho at the base of the Sawtooth Mountains. We'll be heading up in the mountains in the next couple days to do some backpacking. But today we're talking about a no build bed setup that converts into a couch. I've used a lot of different setups over the years. When I first moved into the van three years ago, I slept on my camping air mattress. It was about two inches and barely as wide as my shoulders. I would drop the seats on the floor and then just like set that up at night and yeah, just basically camp in the van like I would camp on my bike tours or when I went backpacking. Shortly after that, when I was ready for some more comfort, I moved up to an Exped Mega Mat, and that was a good bit thicker and wider, and is honestly probably more comfortable than a lot of hotel beds. And I lived on that for about a year, maybe even a little bit longer, before COVID, and then I really kind of needed a better workspace and just more room in the van overall. After living in it for so long, I was really ready for just some more comfort. So I used a climbing mattress and decided to turn that into a bed. I kind of built a very simple base in here, a little cabinet in the back, but didn't want to full on build it out. So to like full on build out a bed and then still have the crash pad would take up a lot of room. It would take more time and added expense to build it out. So I just decided to use the crash pad that I already had as a bed. <laughs> it worked out perfectly. I just added some memory foam on top of it, put a sheet on there, and then I had a simple no build bed that turned into a couch. So today I want to take you inside and show you a little more about it. Welcome to my crib. This is couch mode. And it's where all the action happens. By action, I mean the editing. <laughs> my mom's watching. <laughs> <laughs> the heart of any van is its bed, couch, setup. In this case, we're using a crash pad with uh, three inches of memory foam on top of it. The advantage to this setup is just that you don't actually have to build anything. You could throw this crash pad into any van, any vehicle really, even an SUV, and you'll have yourself a bed that converts into a couch. It's gonna give you a lot of comfort without actually having to do any work. And then with just a simple little Walmart table here, we've got like a full desk setup. This will like go straight, raises up and down and whatnot, but that's not the point of this video. This is about the bed. So this here is three inches of just Tempur-Pedic memory foam. I've tried a bunch over the years. The Walmart ones in particular, I've tried a few different ones from Walmart and none of them worked very well. The small ones were just too compressible and the big ones just, yeah, they just had no density to them so they didn't work. So I spent a little bit of extra money and bought the Tempur-Pedic one. I found it on sale for I think like around $150 or something, but it's been working really well. Now after a year and a half or so, it's like starting to wear out and now we can like peel the crash pad a little bit more, but the crash pad itself is quite firm. So you'll really need to have the, like some sort of like padding on top of it, unless you really like a hard bed. But anyways, yeah. And then just a simple twin mattress on top of it. So this here is a twin size mattress. You could go with a full and then just like cut it down to fit. And with the two of us in here, we'll probably do that at some point for now. And when it was just me, this worked perfectly, but now we have some like extra space on the side of the bed here. So it's not exactly ideal, but now, when it's time to put this into the bed mode, all you do is get your extra stuff out of your way. Flip the extra mattress is just kind of leaning behind it there. And then this will flip out. I just got some non-slip pads underneath it there to yeah, keep it from slipping. And then this will drop down. And then the mattress goes on top of it and you got yourself a full size, a full size bed now. And the two of us in here fit pretty comfortably. It's not quite the width of a full. So it's a little bit crammed with the two of us, but I mean, it's cozy. There's still plenty of room. I think we have more room here than we do in the tent. So uh, yeah, 
works pretty well. And then to go back into a into a couch, flip this out, drop a part of it behind it, slide it back, flip it up, and back into a couch. That easy, that fast. And the Metolius pad here, I'll put a link in the description, but you can see it's like pretty much the perfect width for here. It's like, how long is it? I think it's 70 inches long, so I mean, almost six foot. My feet stick off it a little bit, but my feet stick off of any bed I've ever really used. And uh, yep, that's the bed. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for taking a tour of my crib. I'll see y'all next time.